We begin tonight with a call for gun policy from Savannah Mayor Van Johnson. He says more than 180 mayors from across the country are working against a partisan gridlock in the nation's capital. They say their plea for gun legislation makes sense. WSAV News Series Jessica Coons has our top story. Churches, when you talk about doctor's offices, when you talk about courtrooms, places that were deemed at one point to be safe. Um, the fact is, is that, you know, these places are being victimized across the country. According to the CDC, 110 Americans are killed by guns every day in the U.S. Mayors from across the country again call for Congress to act quickly and decisively, requiring universal background checks, holding gun dealers accountable who knowingly sell to straw purchasers, banning the manufacture, sale, and possession of all 3D printed ghost guns and providing local government and law enforcement officials access to ATF gun trace data. Raising the legal age to purchase a gun to 21 and implementing red flag laws for those with mental illness or other policies the mayor supports. About 21 percent of our uh, officers down in terms of, of vacancies. Johnson says they have enough law enforcement to cover their beats, but he believes other cities are paralyzed from not enough officers to address violent crimes. Here at home, Johnson says they want those jobs filled with officers who will connect with the community, adding their plans to create a citizens oversight committee to get neighbors involved in making solutions. We want to make sure that the data is reliable, um, and that it's tangible, uh, and that people can uh, see it in context. Reporting in Savannah, Jessica Coombs, WSAV News 3 on your side. Savannah leaders are working to keep young people engaged this summer with free programs focused on education and entrepreneurial development to help keep them out of trouble.